if you notice something about me, I don't have lipstick. I left it at home. Oh my. That's that's just a southern that's almost a sin. <laughs> I I don't wear makeup every day. I, I rarely do, but I wear lipstick every day. Left it at home. Yesterday, you know, when the kids go with us to church, Chris will treat them to lunch. And this whole time I was wondering, you know, where are we going to eat lunch? Where are we going to eat lunch? And then my cousin called. My cousin Cindy. She called Saturday morning, yesterday morning. And she said, you want to pick pecans on halves? She said, I can't do it. My back, I'm down on my back. Her back is still giving her a little fizz. It got, got better, but then, you know, squared up. And I said, yeah, I will, I will pick pecans and I'll pick your half too. And so, Rebecca had noticed there is a new restaurant in Wiggins. And, and I thought, well, we can go, and I looked at the menu, and I was like, ooh, mm, that ain't gonna be able to treat them to that. <laughs> so, anyway, I got this bright idea that yes, I'm gonna go pick pecans. Cindy said, you know, you need to go ahead and pick them. There's still just a little bit of green, we'll have to dry them out. But if we don't, the squirrels is gonna get them, and then, um, you know, she, pecans are high. Pecans are very high. So I said, okay, I'm going to figure this out where I can still make church. I still got to go help Rebecca um, plan the birthday party. The kids' birthdays are next weekend. And we're doing it at a little city park. And she's going. she wanted me to go with her to help her figure out where to put things. And also eat lunch and do it all before Eli has to be at work at 2 because he works on Sundays at 2 and I fretted and fretted and I, I, I put out on several options and then I decided you know what if we pick pecans before we go eat we can just watch church on the TV, on the TV. and then I said no Chris and I'll just get up early this morning and go down there and we will sit and watch TV in the field, pecan field, and we'll watch our church service. That would that was, that was an awesome idea to me, just to be in nature and, and hear the word of God. Well, then Rebecca says, no, I, I want to go too. And the kids would love picking pecans because they I don't think they've ever done that. So I said, okay, anyway. well, we got to do it so Eli can come to have the, the lunch. So I fretted a while and then I just decided, okay, well, actually, Rebecca decided for me. We will go have lunch, have brunch, because we can afford the brunch, not the lunch, the brunch. And then go pick pecans and then Eli can go back home. So this morning I got up listening to my, I like the Gaith, Gaither music, I love Gaither music. And so I have my Pandora full, full blaring, you probably heard it, didn't you? <laughs> so I had it full blaring and, and it seemed like every one of my favorite songs was on this morning. I just, I don't know, it just, it did something to me. But, Nowadays, we don't have that old-time Gaither gospel music in the church, at our church. And back when, you know, it was changing from the hymnals to the more modern music, my children were, were teenagers, and to me, it was, it was not a big deal because I had a responsibility, and Chris did too, do whatever it takes to get my children on the right path and into heaven. And if it means doing a little more 
modern music, so be it. I can listen to my gospel music anytime because I feel close when I listen to my gospel music. But it turns out I think Eli likes the older music anyway. But neither here nor there. We're going to um, eat lunch at this new place that Rebecca has found in Wiggins. And it's a farm to table meal. So they had this local food. And we used to have one in Hattiesburg called Cotton Blues. Oh man, it was so good. And they used to get rabbit from my cousins who has the uh, rabbit place. And then they would get, you know, all the things from local rock people. So this place is a farm to table. It's a little fancy, but since we're going to pick pecans, and since our money will spend just like fancy folks' money will spend, we're going to go. I have blue jeans on. They're nice. As far as I know, they're never spend the night with folks like Billy. Billy had to spend a week <laughs> Billy picking had to go, peas. Uh, and uh, peanuts and digging potatoes. Billy would come back with vegetables and fruits. And not a few fruits, but vegetables. But <laughs> and calluses and cuts and bruises on the day. Yeah, one day I'm going to have to have Billy on just to give his perspective of his sharecropping days. <laughs> <laughs> Billy's a hoot. Yeah, now he... Uh, he has COVID this week. My brother does. Really? Yeah. I didn't know it was COVID around anymore. Yeah. Oh, maybe I wasn't supposed to say that word. I don't know. Were you supposed to say that word? I don't know. I don't know yeah, what word you're not I'm not sure what words you're not supposed to say anymore. One day one word is fine, and the next day you're ashamed if you say a word. But, I mean, he's had it before. We've had it before. No, you haven't had it. Yeah. Yeah, you had it, yeah. It wasn't bad for me, but I took the shot. I don't know if that helped or not, but it wasn't bad. I don't know. But. It wasn't fun. Yeah. I guess that's it. I can't wait to see how the kids react to, what's this, honey? Why are we picking them? Why are we putting them in the bucket? Why are we putting these in a the bucket? Oh, speaking of, I forgot to tell Rebecca to bring their little bucket. So I got to them. You got two little buckets? Not real. A lot more. Okay. Alright. I'll holler at you later. Y'all have a blessed Sunday. And remember, what was that song we just heard? Jesus is on the mountain and he's still the same Jesus in the valleys. Or was it? Yeah. That's, how, that's what it said, wasn't it? Mm. Loved it. Loved it. I don't think I've heard that song. Alright. Have a good See one. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and just claim it. I am an idiot. I used to be smart. I don't know what's happened to me. <laughs> we are watching our service. Now, granted, in my defense, I didn't have my glasses on. I clicked on our service, because our service is actually on, on YouTube. It's Venture Church. And I love our church. I didn't recognize the preacher. Because we have we have lots of preachers. We have the, the the main preacher, and it used to be Jeff Clark, and he was the preacher since my children were before Rebecca was in sixth grade. Yeah, probably when we started going there. And he was the preacher prior to that. So he's been he's retired. He just recently retired. So we had well, he's like the, um, I don't know, he's still there, but not, not the like, campus main preacher. So anyway, we have, we have several churches. We have a satellite church in Wiggins, which we all, that was one of my options, just to go to church in Wiggins this morning. And he, we have a, the main campus, and then we have another campus across town, Hunt Club. We used to go there for years. There's one on the coast, and there's one in Laurel. So, you know, sometimes the other pastors will be the main preacher that day, for that Sunday. And at first I thought it was uh, the preacher from Wiggins. I, I hadn't seen him in a while, and but I didn't have my glasses on, and I thought, wow, they have, when did, when did they have time to change the, stage. I mean, it looked nice. And I thought, I don't know. But anyway, it was a good sermon. It was on Lazarus. It was a good sermon. And we come up to Dollar General. Got me some lipstick. It was two dollars and something. <laughs> now, I don't splurge on makeup. Now, I mean, I use a good brand. I use Merle Norman, but it lasts forever, except for the lipstick. The lipstick I splurge on, and and the color that I use is called Hot Bronze Glossé. Use that for years. I mean, decades, decades. Well, a while back they changed it. They stopped selling that brand, that color, and they went to another color. And when I was working, I, you know, I told her I had done, got to the very bottom, you know, where the lipstick is no longer sticking out, but you got to take your finger and get in there and put it on your lips. And I said, Chris, and I worked out of town. And I think 45 minutes out of town, I worked at the hospital. And so he had to go get me some lipstick because I couldn't get another dab out of that. I mean, I, done got, I think I done got to the Q-tips stage where you swirl it around there. And so anyway, I told him a thousand times what it was called, what it was called, what it was called. Don't get me the wrong color. And I sent it in a text and I called him. And so he went into Merle Norman. They, you know, it is a small world woman, and we know the lady there. And I just have to apologize to everyone. The lady from behind the counter said, Hi, can I help you? He says, I am looking for hot date. I, I kind of had one looking for. I'm looking for, and he looked at this text, and he said, hot, hot date. date. <laughs> hot date. <laughs> that little girl looked at me like, like she was old. You, you dirty old man. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, it's a lipstick. It's called a hot date. And, well, of 
course, he ended up getting it, but he's never been back to Royal Norman. I don't think you've ever been back again, have you? I don't doubt it. I, I, it didn't bother me. I didn't that look right there. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty old man. <laughs> But they had changed it from hot bronze glacé to hot date. But now they're back to hot bronze glacé. Now, I will splurge on my lipstick. I don't drink or smoke or wear fine jewelry or I don't have a million purses and I don't have a million shoes because I can only wear one pair at a time. And I can only tote one purse at a time. But anyway, I do love my lipstick. Merle Norman hot bronze glossy. But anyway, that being said, getting back to the church, I was just baffled. I said, boy, he's changed a little bit. I don't think, but it looks like him. And Chris goes, who is that? And I was like, I, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't really know. But look what they've done to the stage. <laughs> so when we pulled into Dollar General, I clicked pause, you know, pause on my little phone there, and it come up and it said, Andy Stanley, I think is what it said, I was on the wrong church, but when I put in Venture Church, I guess it gave me more, and I just clicked the first one, because I thought it was ours, because I put in Venture Church, but it was a good sermon. Now we'll have to watch ours when on the way back home, I guess. He's in charge of the gardening. 
I can't wait to get pecans. Pecans are hot. Now, I, I picked pecans a couple years back at Sydney's, and I, I think I was, I think I down, I think I used the last bag. So, I ordered some pecans. I made a slip tank casserole the other day, and I didn't have but just a drop of pecans. And I had to order some. Of course, Walmart was out. And they, they shipped them. I don't know how they make it any money with shipping stuff. I don't think they pay the same rates as we do shipping. I don't know. You can't. All right. Let me go check on Mom. See you. There's the Venture Church for Wiggins. Look. They're out of the parking lot into the grass. Wow. What a blessing. What a blessing. I don't know if you can tell or not, but... Look, they're parking on the side of the road in the grass. They've, they've exceeded the parking lot. That's a blessing. This is a pretty little section. Look at that. It's a little one-way street. It's in Wiggins. Wiggins, Mississippi. It's where I was born. The cutest. There's a restaurant we stopped at. Oh, my window's dirty. But this is the cutest. This is Wiggins. Yeah. It's nice. Good food. Now, to me, the potatoes and the bacon was a little salty. But then again, I don't put a whole lot of salt on my stuff. So much of salt, it was, it had a lot of butter in it. Is that what it was? Yeah, it's clarified butter, not ready. Uh, well, I think Rebecca got chicken and waffles. Me, the kids, and Chris got just the regular breakfast, you know, the two eggs, the grits, the toast, bacon, and those uh, potatoes, called lionese potatoes or something like that. They were salty. Caramelized onions. Yeah, they had caramelized onions in them. But it was good. I love having family meals. Whether or not I cook it or Rebecca cooks it or Nathan or Chris grills, I love having family time meals because it is just a special time. Yep. So now we're off to go pick pecans. I'm not sure if I gave you an update or not on the bed bug situation. Of 
course, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and read the, I mean, look at the other videos. There goes my son. He's headed to work. But anyway, this, last night, I put down a pillowcase at the front door, because that's where I brought the, everything in and sat down, and then I moved them to the laundry room. So I put a pillowcase by the front door and then a pillowcase on the floor in the laundry room just to see if I would see any bugs on there this morning and I did not. So I'm gonna, I just left them there and hopefully by the time we get home, I don't know when we could stop worrying about it. Hopefully we won't have any bugs on there when I get home this afternoon. I'll probably worry about it for until I forget about it. <laughs> yeah. All right, I can't wait to see how these kids react to picking up cards. Clifford would like it. Of course, it is 12.30. This morning, Chris come. He had to go to work early this morning, and he come. He come in. He said, "We got to leave." And I said, "No, we don't." It's. He said, "Every clock in this house is is wrong, and the digital clocks, of course, they changed automatically. But everything else, I had to go through and change." I said, "No, we got an hour and fifteen minutes before we have to go, instead of just fifteen minutes." All right. Let me show you the, let me show you the road. Say what you will about Mississippi, but we sure have prettiness. Look at those, look at those skies. Beautiful. done picking up pecans. It's quarter till two. No, it's quarter till three. We got two five gallon buckets and then probably another fourth of a gallon. Five gallon bucket. Uh -huh. yeah. So, we done for the day. I know those kids were done. And their mama was done too. <laughs> <laughs> 